Now, if you have only one company code, so in that case, this leading ledger should be assigned with one accounting principle. So I can assign here one accounting principle, let's say Indian accounting standard, if you have one company code. If you have multiple company code, so in this client, we have US company code, we have India company code, we have Europe company code. Now this leading ledger is common for all company codes. So in this case, you may use here that 0L, you can assign here IFRS, because for every company code, the first accounting principle will be the IFRS. And for additional requirements for the local gap, we may go for non-leading ledger. So we will take the leading ledger here, you can select and go to the company code. So I'm using this one for my demonstration purpose in Libas. So many company codes are there, you just ignore. So you just check here our company code A100. Check for more details, go to this one. Now I'm going to assign the required accounting principle, which is for my uh, India operation point of view. And for this leading ledger, as I said, I don't have multiple company code or multiple operations. So I will just take here the local gap because IFR is not required for me. So I will follow the Indian accounting standard. And this local gap is Indian accounting standard, which I'm going to use here. So default ledger leading ledger primary ledger connected with company code linked with accounting principle local gap 